All right, round three starting momentarily. All right, final round, here we are. Uh, just waiting for my opponent here. I'll go ahead and pause till he arrives. All right, uh, this hand seems okay. We have two of our evasion creatures. We have a counter spell that we can't play yet, but we do have a gaseous form, and that is, seals it for me. So, sorry about that. Next turn, we'll be able to play Armored Pegasus. We're going to be able to gaseous form that guy. Ooh, Wind Dancer. I think for now, I'd rather play the Pegasus. Definitely going to gaseous form the Dothy. Yeah, especially with no follow up, with no land, with missing a land drop. Next turn, I can play my armored Pegasus, or actually probably my Wind Dancer, just because it can give the Snatch Defender flying. I'll be able to leave that and counter spell up. Especially if my opponent misses another land drop. Oh no, I can't leave up Armored Pegasus and Wind Dancer, unfortunately, uh, but now I can. I don't think I care about that. Don't need to cast Staunch Defenders yet. Rather be able to leave up Staunch Defenders and Counterspell on the same turn, especially since I'm not really under any pressure, still. I'm hitting for three every turn. Susan Van Camp, she has some of the funniest art and magic. Go look up, I believe the card is called Heart of the Wild. All right, so is this counterable? I'm tempted to, but at the same time, it's only one damage. So, no, that's fine. And soon I'll be able to play Staunch Defenders without... Okay, and leave up the counter spell next turn. So... My opponent can only attack me for two every turn, so yeah, I don't really see a reason to... Uh, didn't see a reason to counter that. That's a much juicier target. As I do not want to give my opponent a flyer. So bash three. Got smite up. That kind of stinks, but is okay. Well, now there's absolutely no reason to attack. But this is probably something I will counter. No, 
let's just go ahead and mana leak that. Okay, trade wind rider. Pretty happy to draw him. This means I can get my flying beats back on. Ooh, my opponent has staunch defenders of his own. But I'm the one with trade wind rider, so. Yeah, actually, now I don't want to attack with the Trade Wind Rider. Not when I can bounce my own Staunch Defenders and gain 4 life every turn. That seems sweet. So I'll just block with my own Staunch Defenders. Hopefully blink a removal spell or something here. Hmm. So yeah, I'll just bounce my Wind Drake. Blink my opponent's spell here. Then I can go ahead and smite. So that was a pretty good exchange. And yeah, that kind of stinks. But I'm still the one with the flyer when the dust clears here. Gravedigger, that's pretty good. I'm assuming he'll go back and get Staunch Defenders. Or Spirit on Core, okay. Not what I wanted to draw. Yeah, Shackles is gonna get me a little here, unfortunately. I don't think I have a way of untapping my Trade Wind Rider. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Trade Wind Rider would be really nice now. Oh, how the rolls have reversed. Oh man, really? Another land? Okay. Well, fortunately, I have some time to recover. My opponent has a lot of removal. Oh, my opponent's gonna one for one himself? Oh, I see. Okay. Yep, yeah, my opponent's got all the removal in the world, unfortunately. So now I'm under a bit more pressure. And of course, I draw another land. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can come back from this now, since I've drawn three lands in a row here. Mana leak is a little too late to the party. Really need to draw another staunch defenders. Alright. You got me. 
Drawing a ton of land is always really fun. But I'll be on the play. Yikes. Uh, I'll keep it. Just needs another land to be good, preferably an island. Won't say no to a plains, though. Yeah, I'm in okay shape. I just need to draw another land. Especially if my opponent has to do this. I think that's all the two toughness guys I'm going to commit, though, in case my opponent has another Evan Carr's Justice. I have no indication about whether or not that's his only one. And I don't have a counterspell up. And I can't cast any of the other ones, so it doesn't even make a difference. Okay, that's fine. Do I attack for one? I guess I do. Maybe my opponent has another death stroke and just wastes it. Oh, I guess he did that because he was going to have to discard the hand size otherwise. Yeah, that's fine. I do not mind if my opponent is spending those. Man, I'm kind of stuck on land too. <laughs> I have like this great opportunity to get ahead and I just can't. My opponent has to reanimate, that's gonna be really good. On land. Nope. My opponent is forever from, away from casting Evancar's Justice, so I think I just commit for now. Ooh, finally a land. I can Volras curse a creature. Yep, that is Volras curse worthy. No, actually it's not. I don't Well, I am going to play Gerard's Battle Cry. But since all my creatures have evasion, I think I am good to not cast Volras curse here. Cuz I have my opponent on a two turn clock. I think attacking there would have been correct. Yeah, that's fine. Well, my opponent has just a ton of removal. Do I have anything that helps me against all of that removal? Well, kind of. Just not as good as what I'm already doing. And in other colors, so. This is it! Game three of round three. Hopefully we'll get a good game here. I love this hand.
couldn't mana leak that unfortunately, but not a big deal as I have <clears throat> the gaseous form in hand. So let's go ahead and play. Hmm. Let's play an island. And now the question is, do I want to? I think I'm good to go ahead and play my Pegasus. Because if a worse creature comes along, I can gaseous form it instead. See, I'll be taking two. I don't want to play the Tradewind Rider without counter backup. Yeah, standing troops don't care. No need to attack. So I want to block the standing troops for a little bit. Next turn I can play the looter and hold up mana leak. Alright, Master Decoy is going to be a little annoying. But not too much. So this is probably the only hit I'm going to get in. So we're going to be able to start looting soon. Oh yeah, I guess that happens. So actually, yeah, I don't want to be attacking with the Pegasus. That was not what I want. Uh, it can't hurt to go ahead and just do this. Well, I like that a lot. Unfortunate, yeah, I'll just discard Bellicose Lowlands. Yeah, drew another mana anyway, so. Well, so now the question is, do I want to go ahead and play Staunch Defenders? I don't, I'm not really under a lot of pressure, so I don't think I want to, and I think I want to leave up my mana leak. Next turn I can play Trade Wind Rider with Mana Leak backup, just in case my opponent has a removal spell. Uh, I will block here. Another Staunch Defenders is fine. Let's play Trade Wind Rider. Pass the turn on back, looking for another land before I cast my Staunch Defenders. Yeah, that's fine. That is perfect. So now I could attack with a Pegasus, but I don't really want to because my opponent can still tap down one of my blockers. Yeah, I don't think I want to lose my Trayvon Rider. Bounce that guy out. Play another staunch defender. 
gain some leaf. Yeah, my opponent's just mana screwed, which is good for me. Next turn, I can start bashing for six or three, even. I keep gaining life. Might be a little too cute. Yeah, I feel your pain. Sometimes I don't get my chat messages because I leave the um, microphone over the... Uh, well, the microphone is just like blocking the little chat window that comes up. What does this say? So I see no reason to not attack for six here. That makes me feel a little silly, but whatever. So I'm gonna have to bounce the Soltari Troopers, what it's coming down here to here, especially since I just played the Thalico Scout. Even better, I could bounce the gaseous form. So this game's actually pretty far from over, unfortunately. Okay, that actually gives me a free turn to bounce one of his guys. That's probably going to be... All right, another land. Yeah, that's fine. Is it? Yeah, sure. Wants to save that guy. I guess I could actually block the spirit on core or bounce the spirit on core, save my guy. This is what I'm gonna do. I'd rather save my guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can kill that guy. Curse you tiny creatures. Ooh, my own master decoy. Excellent. So now I can tap down the trooper. I'll be able to attack with my scout. I'll be hitting for five next turn. Six, including my flying guy. Unfortunately, cannot bounce that anymore. Swing in with my guys. I was going to say, maybe one of my staunch defenders dies here, but does not. My opponent's been having to discard. A lot of conditional removal in this set. Okay, well that saves me having to tap down the trooper. So I can tap down the standing troops. And That is fine with me. It's a pretty nifty ability. So yeah, staunch defenders doing a lot of lifting. <sighs> Probably gonna, yeah, mana leak that. as I do not want my opponent gaining 4 life here and getting a blocker alright and we win so we go 3-0 thank you guys so much for watching uh, I'll be able to play in a lot more drafts uh, yeah so tune in next time <laughs>